Hi, hello and welcome back. Now, we will talk about the daily aptitude day 6 order solution. So, if you are watching our channel, we will talk about the daily aptitude daily programming videos. That's why we will talk about the daily off-campus recruitment videos. So, if you are watching the videos regularly, please subscribe to our channel. So, we will talk about the daily aptitude day 6. We will talk about the simple interest concept. So, first question is, we will talk about the simple interest concept. So first question पति नंबर पाकाम a sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees eight hundred and fifteen in three years and to rupees eight hundred and fifty four in four years the sum is आप देख चुके हैं ना मैं क्या कह रहा हूँ so three years ला simple interest वाला amount पाती है ना उनके eight hundred and fifteen है रखे अदला अंद amount ला पाती है ना उनके बंदा amount plus interest उन टू उनके रखो okay बा आधे मरी ये four years ला पाती है ना eight hundred and fifty four उन टू उनके रखे so original ला अंद principal amount है ना आप देख चुके हैं � so, if you want to get the data, we can get the one year of simple interest. So, if you want to get the three years of amount, four years of amount, you can get the amount. So, simple interest concept is every year one interest. So, if you want to get the same thing, you can get the simple interest for one year. If you want to get the simple interest for three years, 39 into 3. Why do we want to get the three years? In the 815, we reduce simple interest in 3 years. So, we reduce sum. So, that's why we can get the simple interest for 3 years. So, 39 into 3 is equal to Rs. 117. So, in 815, we can get the minus 698. So, option C is the correct answer for the first question. So, second question is, a sum fetch a total simple interest of Rs. 4016.25 at the rate of 9 per capita per annum in 5 years. What is the sum? So, if you look at this, you will get the principal amount. So, if you look at this data, we will get the principal simple interest of the formula. Simple interest is equal to PNR by 100. So, we will get the 100 and we will get the rate of 100. So, simple interest of the rate of 100. Number of years and percentage. So, we will calculate the principal amount. Rupees 8,925. So, option C is the correct answer for the second question. So, last question is, Reena took a loan of Rs. 1200 with simple interest for as many years as the rate of interest. So, Rs. 1200 loan is equal. So, simple interest is percentage and years. The two are equal. Okay, so rate of interest and number of years are equal. Now, if you pay 6% interest, you pay 6 years. 5% interest, you pay 5 years. Okay, so next statement, if she paid Rs. 432, as interest at the end of the loan period, what was the rate of interest? So, same formula, but we need to go to the rate of interest, we need to go to the number of years, we need to go to the number of years. So, simple interest is equal to PNR by 100. So, N O R O is the same. So, 1200 into R into R divided by 100. So, in the equation, you solve it, R is the same. So, option B is the same. The correct answer for the last question. So, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and share it with your friends. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our channel.